Okay, so we're going to prove that a parallelogram is a rectangle if and only if its diagonals are equal. So basically, we're going to show parallelogram ABCD is a rectangle if and only if AC is congruent to BD, right? So if we have a parallelogram where its diagonals are congruent, we know that it's a rectangle. And if we have a parallelogram where we know it's a rectangle, then we know its diagonals are congruent. So let's go ahead and start the proof. So uh, we're going to start with P implies Q. So we're going to assume a parallelogram A, B, C, D is a rectangle, right? So if it's a rectangle, that implies that all of these side, I mean, all of these angles are 90 degrees, right? So if we have a rectangle, this implies that the measure of angle A is equal to the measure of angle B, which is equal to the measure of angle C, which is equal to the measure of angle D, which is equal to 90. All of those equal 90, right? Well, remember, uh, we know that uh, A, B, C, D, is a parallelogram implies that the opposite sides are congruent, right? So AB is congruent to a CD, and we know that um, AD is congruent to BC. AD is congruent to a uh, BC. Okay, so now what our strategy is, we're going to consider triangle ADC and BCD because we know these two are congruent, right? Because we know this is congruent to this, right? So we have side, angle, side, right? Side, angle, side. So these two are congruent. And if these two triangles are congruent, that means AC is congruent to BD, right? So let's go ahead and consider uh, triangle ABC and triangle BCD. So we know that AD is congruent to BC, right? AD is congruent to BC. AD is congruent to BC. We know that angle D is congruent to angle C because both their measures are equal and they're both 90, right? And of course we know uh, DC is congruent to DC, right? DC is congruent to itself. So these three things imply by the side angle side congruency postulate that triangle ADC is congruent to triangle BCD. And if we have that, this implies that, of course, AC is congruent to, so AC is congruent to BD, which is what we set out to do, right? All right, so now we're going to go the other way, right? Okay, so now we're going to do Q implies P. So we're going to assume AC is congruent to BD um, within parallelogram um, A, B, C, D, right? Remember, um, you know that um, AC congruent to BD in parallelogram A, B, C, D, and we want to imply that is a rectangle, right? So our goal is to show that this is a rectangle. Basically, we're going to show that all of these degrees are, all of these angles have a measure of 90 degrees, right? So we know A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Implies that the opposite sides are congruent, right? So A, D is congruent to uh, B, C and um, A, B, is congruent to CD, right? So we know this is congruent to this, and this is congruent to this, right? 
So uh, we also know that opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent, and that will be useful for the proof as well, right? So ABCD is a parallelogram implies that angle A is congruent to angle C. So we'll do that here. Angle A is congruent to angle C. And angle D, right? So angle D is congruent to angle B, right? So these two are congruent. All right. So our strategy here is to look at triangle ADC and BCD. We know these two triangles are congruent by the side, 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 right? Side, side, side congruency theorem. And since these two triangles are congruent, their corresponding angles are congruent, namely D is congruent to C. And if D is congruent to C, that means uh, B is congruent to D, which is congruent to C, which is congruent to A, meaning all of these are congruent. And we know the sum of all of these angles must be 360. And if they're all the same, that means all of them must be 90. And that means we are dealing with a rectangle, right? So that's sort of um, our um, line of reasoning that we're going to go around about. So let's go ahead and get started on it. So let's go ahead and consider triangle ADC and triangle B. CD. We know that AD is congruent to BC, right? We know AD is congruent to BC. We know DC is congruent to DC. And from our assumption, we know that AC is congruent to BD, right? AC is congruent to BD. Okay, So AC is congruent to uh, BD. These three things imply by the side 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 congruency postulate that triangle a uh, d c is congruent to triangle b c d and of course if these two triangles are congruent that means angle d is congruent to angle c right angle d is congruent to angle c so we have b is congruent to d right so angle b is congruent to angle d we just proved that D was congruent to C, and we know that C is congruent to A, right? So all of these are uh, congruent, right? So we know that the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C plus the measure of angle D is equal to 360, right? So since we know all of these are congruent, this implies the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle A is equal to 360. This implies that 4 times the measure of angle A is equal to 360. If we divide both sides by 4, that gives us the measure of angle A is equal to 90, which implies that the measure of angle A is equal to the measure of angle B, equals the measure of angle C, equals the measure of angle D, and all of them equal 90. So that means we are, in fact, dealing with a rectangle, right? So this means that A, B, C, D is a rectangle, right? And that is the proof. So remember, when you're dealing with a parallelogram where um, the diagonals are congruent, that means you know the parallelogram is a rectangle, right? And that's a very useful theorem to know. And that is it.